Welcome back, folks, to Space Engineers. <clears throat> Sorry, I had taken a, uh, I had taken actually a few days off to address some medical concerns that I was uh, dealing with. Um, but I don't think there is a a uh, gap between videos because I had uh, filmed quite a few videos ahead of time as a batch. Uh, usually film like three or four in a row and then I'll upload them so that way they cover like the next three or four days and that's kind of what happened and I actually just was kind of lucky that I did that because well like I said medical issues um so I wasn't able to actually get around to it until now which is I believe Friday night so but yeah I'm ready to get back into the swing of things and uh yeah let's get going so we're going to resume with tearing down the Samuel one and getting all of the, uh, all the goodies from here. Inventory. Hope everyone is doing great today. Like I said, it's my Friday or Friday here at least. And, uh, boy, it has been, it's been a week. I'll just say that. And it's, it's good to be back and finally, you know, getting some more videos out, getting some gaming going on. I also, uh, side note, was able to get a couple more games that I may be showcasing on the channel. One being a game called Planned Folk, which is kind of like a, a RimWorld looking type game, but honestly, it's got like better graphics i want to say like they're really really nice and it's got a very interesting uh game mechanics and it's more about like long-term survival versus you know surviving raids and things like that i'm actually not even sure if there is raids inside the uh inside the game but it's actually a really really cool you know survival strategy type game I also picked up for free off of a uh, Prime Gaming, I believe it is, uh, for their Prime Day thing that they had going on. I was able to get Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. So it's all three games with all of the DLCs, skins, all the specials, everything that all the uh, all the different uh, collectors type stuff came with the game so if you guys want to see mass effects let me know or if you want to see clan folk let me know um i'm also thinking of picking up either uh cyberpunk or sea of thieves if any of those ones sound pretty good or if you have experience with those games please let me know because I am pretty curious about those and would like to try them out. And maybe I'll, I'll, I'll even probably try them out blind on the channel so that way we can all kind of experience it for the first time. And uh, yeah. So I think this episode is going to be pretty, pretty chill. I'm going to be pretty much taking apart this, uh, this ship. And uh... oh, oh, hold on a second. I want to show you what I did. I, I did do a little bit of work off camera, not a huge amount, but just a little bit. So I filled in the wall here. I made this door airlock, I should say. And this goes into the, into the asteroid and it's a stairwell. It goes straight up. Got a window, nice big window looking outside. And then I also have another kind of airlock here. Get the air going back in here. And I finished it up with some lights. I got this cool panel panel going. Got some kitchens type stuff. Got my air vent going. Uh, so it's all sealed in here. And then over here, I got the garden going. So it's O2 high. And, uh, yeah, got some apple trees growing. Now, the only thing I'm wondering about this is because I haven't ever actually used this 
mod system of the growing food is I'm not sure if there's like am I supposed to put something in here like organic matter am I supposed to put type of seeds like I'm not I'm not 100% sure how this uh, produces food and you know like I said I'm keeping the, the, the weather in here warm and full of oxygen O2 high got lights going all that good stuff but uh, again like I said I'm not sure what else I need to be doing for that to be working so anyways uh, let me go grab the medical center real quick okay I got my power I just ate some food and water in my uh, vehicle the beast and uh, to the one commenter who told me about doing the shield generator, I will probably be doing that uh, in a later episode when I start thinking about doing uh, combat runs and things like that. But do note that I definitely did take your comment into uh, consideration. And yeah, that might be something I will be actually doing because that I mean it makes sense, right? You know. You build your ship and you don't want it to, you know, get messed up or anything like that. So, uh, let's see what else, what's going on. Took my son today to go see, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. And oh my God, did I love that. It was amazing. I mean, I love, I love the humor and, you know, the nonsense, the action, uh, even the, the love story. I think it was just chef's kiss i thought it was awesome and the goats oh how can you not love the goats if you haven't seen it i highly suggest going watching it it is a fun fun time and it's really really cool but that's just uh that's just my opinion so result results may differ right everybody's different anyways Okay, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, we still got a bit over here. I gotta take this all down. Good thing I got the souped up uh, grinder. Man, this thing just chews through all these plates. Oh, inventory full. Alright. There we go. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Get them all. Get them. I think uh, in the next episode, uh, once I get all of this, I might, I might, I might even start it this episode, depending on uh, time restraints and what we got going on here. But I may be making not necessarily the Subarus 2.0, but a newer, maybe more buffed up version of uh, the Cerberus. Uh, mining vessel because we don't have a mining vessel granted all my all my stuff I'm doing I'm getting from ripping stuff apart which is you know a, a good strategy you know got to recycle kind of thing but at the same time I may be needing a lot of uh, instead of having to recycle the pieces and all that stuff, I may have to need like a bunch of uh, steel plates and whatnot. So having a bunch of iron on hand is eh, probably a pretty good, pretty good idea to have, you know. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm really digging this music. And by the way, I figured out, I know I should have known this ahead of time. Um, I know there was a couple episodes there where this soundtrack <laughs> had like left and went into the next video and I figured a way around that and just threw it on loop. So that way I ain't got to worry about it. There we go. Let me see. Da, 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 da. All right, one second. 
All right, let's keep this going. We almost got this ship totally ripped apart. Speaking of ripping ships apart, I actually have, I have quite a few games. I'll, I'll be honest. I have probably like three, 400 games on my Steam account. Uh, and one of them is Hard Space uh, Ship Breaker. That's also a option. I do like that game, even though I haven't played it a whole lot. Um, at least I got it when it first came out. So, and there's been a lot of patches and a lot of like updates and all sorts of things like that. So it's pretty much going to be like a brand new game to me. Um, but if that's also a game that you guys want to see, let me know. So I don't want to be specifically Space Engineers. I do like to have a bit of a variety just because my ADHD, you know, I gotta, I gotta have something to, I gotta change it up every so often. Otherwise I will get bored and like move on to a different hobby or something like that. So, uh, in order to keep it fresh, I do like to have a variety. Let's get some power. I do right all right and then yeah i also took the consideration that you guys were talking about the replacing the rocket pods which are manual loaded uh with the auto cannons and i think that's actually a really good idea of switching uh that over Yeah, we're gonna make this entire ship disappear. Not that I, uh, I I need to get rid of it for lag reasons or anything like that, but uh, hey, we can always use the extra components, you know, like those spots for the uh, for the turrets and all that stuff. parts almost there almost there and the last all righty the Samuel one is gone sweet okay so yeah we actually that uh, did not take very long so let's get started on the mining ship. Okay. Thankfully, I still have... Oh, I need steel plates. Go figure. Do -do -do. Okay, let's come on down. Come on down. All right. Uh, let's get a couple... Let's get 500. Okay. So I'm thinking... I'm going to bring this up for one, just so I can get underneath it and do all the good stuff that I need to do. Okay. Let's see here. Just kind of think, I'm trying to think like how I want this thing to be laid out. Because I'm thinking of adding some armor to it as well, because, well, you saw what happened last time. If we're going to be a big, uh, kind of slow, sluggish looking thing. Well, I want to be protected. Lart, that's a three, not an E. Okay, let me see. I don't think there is a small block, large container, unless, unless I go with the, I think there's a small block large container for yeah I think it's in here I think it's in the azimuth mod pack I'm just not sure which one it is at the moment uh hydrogen tank okay we got antennas air ravengers we got power now I wonder, a V8, 
Okay, so V8 is good for underwater, above water, okay. Um, I'm guessing that's more for like ground vehicles, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but just thinking. Let's see. Last time we had the, the I believe it was the industrial uh, cockpits kind of thing that we got going on. Uh, so, or was it the worker bee? Might have been the worker bee that we had. I don't know. It's been a couple episodes and it's been... It's been quite a few days for me since I've last uh, actually logged on, so to say. Um, let me see. Maintenance vent. No, 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 no. Don't need that. What do we got going on here? We got small armor thrusts. Okay. Doors. Yeah. Modular thrusters. Okay, so these are the ones that we used on the beast. And they're pretty cool. I just don't think I need those particularly. But I do have the repulsor small lift. And I know these ones, I think it's both of these. Uh, like, give a boost, essentially. Like, it gives me force increase is 400%. Power efficiency is 50%, reducing power costs from increased force, which is great for, um, you know, getting us moving forward when we're under load. So that's definitely something to think about for that. Hover engines, that's for, you know, gravity kind of stuff going on. Okay, so here we go. We got some other industrial cockpits. Uh, two side, you got a cockpit two, a thin, cockpit one. Okay, I kind of want to see what this one looks like. Let's get rid of these parts real quick. Industrial blocks. Don't really need that. Cargo industries. These are the landing gears. So this landing gear is small. Uh, it's not the small one. It's the, uh, sorry, real quick. For no additional fees. If so, you gotta check out Artlist. Uh, one second. Darn commercials. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so moving on. We got these weapons going on here. Now, it'd be kind of cool if there was like a laser that was like a mining laser, kind of like an Eve. If you ever played that? I didn't play that for very long. I was getting my butt kicked left and right. Non stop. Uh, we got warfare batteries, which may... Okay, we got the reactor. Hydrogen engine, small reactors. You know, I'm thinking maybe... Let's do the compact battery. Uh, I mean, these are super heavy, though. That's the thing. So let's do the compact battery. All right, just kind of save on a little bit of weight. We'll also do a small solar panel just so that way, not so much that it um, runs the vehicle. It's just so that it keeps the power on. So that way, if I need to supply uh, uranium to the reactor, that it will remain on essentially. So we got wasteland, da 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 da, couplers. Uh, we can also maybe put a a Gatling turret on top as protection. Not that we really, I don't want to say making it as an offensive vehicle because it's not, but it definitely would be a defensive uh, boon for us. Okay, here we go. We got these ones. These are the also the ones I was looking at. Factory cockpit large. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Uh, also rover cockpits. All right. Let me see. We got the heavy fighter cockpit. We knew what that one's like. We got the rover single seat. And let's just let's let's take a look at that so far. Unfortunately, I have to go get some power real quick because I spent too long out here. Mm. Come on. Get in there. Run, 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 run. 
I mean, I still have quite a bit of time, but I'm just saying. All right, we're also gonna need to build a cryo chamber, but that's not as important at this moment because I'm still good on the sleeping aspect. Um, actually, just double check real quick. Bed, what can we do for bed wise? We got this bed, uh, I can get rid of that, I think. We got single bed, bunk bed, bunk bed mirrored. Okay, I, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Uh, let me see, let's go to bed, put this in the build planner, right? And then we can just pull that out. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Hey, perfect. Awesome. Great. My sleep is up. I don't have to worry about the cryo chamber. Easy peasy, right? Okay, moving on back, moving on out. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, it's down here. My bad. All right. We got this cockpit. What the heck? This thing is tiny. Oh, that's what she said. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, I mean, it could work. I mean, it's really, really small. And we don't really need it to be that big. But what is this thing? This thing looks impressive oh okay so, so it's like this interesting oh wait 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 I think it goes like that yep yep oh okay interesting it's like a kind of like a shark head uh looking type of cockpit that's that's kind of cool actually whoa whoa look at that thing that is awesome looking uh yeah okay uh let's try this okay let me see here uh which one was this one this one was i think it was this one Oh, why did I do that? Wait, nope, nope, nope. Interesting. That's not the one I was trying to do. What is this? Oh, it's only, it's a uh, transport uh, for other characters. Okay, is this the one? Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. This is the Exploration, I believe. Rover, cockpit, single seat. Okay. All parts were taken out successfully. Okay, so we're going to bring it up like this. Okay, I want to see this. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. I like the, uh, I like the monitors up, up there. Got plenty of view on the side. It kind of gives me a like a tight interceptor kind of a look to the interior, which I kind of like. That's that's cool. Definitely can see all around. Okay, I am I am okay with this. Let's actually get this up. So we got two blocks here that we can use for our small stuff. Let's check out for the battery. We're going to need gyroscope. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need... Let's see what we need for shield generator. Just, just thinking. And we got engineer plushie. Always need that. Uh, we got shield slant invisible functional. Okay. Uh... Uh, what else? Oh, ore detector. We're going to need that. We're going to need a antenna as well. That is a, uh, that's a must. 
We're also going to need cargo, of course. Uh, oh, reactor. Now, kind of want to do one of these azimuth ones. I know there's a lot of stuff in there, but I have a lot of stuff for it. So I might actually be able to do this. And that is pretty big, but at the same time, if I'm using a lot of thrusters and, and stuff like that, it's probably going to need a lot of power. So it may behoove me to, to use those. Uh, let me see. We've got batteries going on here. Maybe I can... That's the thing. I can't really use it there. So if I get my small conveyors... Uh, where are they? Small conveyors. Okay, let's... Interior plates. Urgh. Okay. I'm not going to do the build planner thing for them. I'm just going to grab a bunch of interior plates just so I can place them out and make the skeleton uh, type thing for it. There they are. Wow. I have a lot of interior plates. And let's get some construction components too. Get some of these. Okay. Alright. So let's say that connects there. And we'll bring these across like this. Okay. And I wonder, so since this is right here, I wonder if with the drill that I can use something kind of like this compact drill. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. It wants to fight me. Okay, there we go. Let me see. In that... Now, nah, see, I don't think that's going to work. Because I would have to really be, like, right up against it for the saw blade to, to work. Um, so unless I can maybe move it forward or something... I may have to go with uh, a different type of drill arm, uh, like the azimuth drill, uh, I know works pretty well. They're a little bit smaller, but uh, it's a little bit more compact. So let's see, I'll get this on there. So we got the ore detector. All right, uh, let's get the gyro on here as well. And we will put it right there. What is this? Oh, these are small conveyors. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we can hook things into that and off of that. Uh, let's also focus on... We'll do the repulsors. The small thruster ones. Just to give us some maneuverability. So we'll do... I think we did three last time. So let's do four just to give us some extra, just some extra oomph. All right, uh, so we got four there. And then let's also do, okay, I think I need the all blocks. We'll worry about power later. Uh, we'll get this there and there. Oh, that's not going to work because I need to get those welded up real quick. Okay, so I need motors. So let's just kind of get these already done up real quick. I got enough stuff for a bunch of stuff. All right. Let's get going. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, let's get a bunch of motors and that should finish those off. There we go. More than enough. Ah, there we go. Nice. Of course I need a large steel tube for those. That's fine. Large steel tubes. 
And what's this? I need computers, thruster components, and superconductors. All right. So let's go drop those off real quick. Let's do repulsors. We'll go in the build planner. Let's just get these out real quick because I know I have a bunch of stuff in there for it. Oh, build planner is empty. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. Keep going, keep going. Oh, do I need more? I need more. Okay, so if I can just go with this to the build planner. Hey, there we go. And then I can just take them out. Look at that. Ah, oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. All right. By the way, I'm not that old even though my channel is called the great old one i'm only 37 so you know i just like the great old ones like hp lovecraft ah uh, there we go okay so we need two more computers to do the gyroscope where are you at Computers, there you are. Okay, so we got left and right. Oh, we got the the components added to build planner. Let's get these. Okay. And get up here. Hey, we got our ore detector. Every miner's gotta have that, right? Okay, let me see. You know what? I'm going to do something real quick. Because I have an idea. I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to put this right there. Let's do... Oh, can I withdraw one medical component? Really? One? I guess I don't have any extras, right? But I can put all the other stuff in here. So I just need one medical component, which I can probably make production-wise. So let's see, production. Let's do medical. Medical component. Oh, I don't have silver, do I? Okay. Uh, uh, let's look. Disassembly. Um... Do I have inventory wise that I can drop into my disassembler to get silver out of? Uh, maybe some gravity components? Maybe? Let's try that. We'll take 10 of those. We'll take some of these. Let's go to production or inventory. We'll drop this over into the. Industrial. Uh, okay. Go to production. Go to disassembling. Cobalt iron. Oh, I think I saw some silver. Yes, there is silver. Okay. Cool. We got it. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so seeing as I'm going to be, you know, building stuff here all the time, I might as well just... There we go, there we go. Perfect. Hey, that's all I need it for. I just need energy, that's it. Okay, so moving on along, let's get some more of these repulsors going. Alright, so we're going to do repulse. We'll just throw it. We're going to need, what, four of them? For the bottoms. Okay. And then we'll just get back up there and get them all out. Okay. Let's see. We'll get these pointed down. 
Maybe I should put it... Maybe I should put it down here, so that way this is more of an underneath the vehicle. Alright, so we got four. It's just going to be back four. Or back one, at least. Okay, there we go. And we'll get that done up. All these are all done up. So we got uh, those. And then for the top one, now I can do this. I can bring this over. Like so. <clears throat> and then I can take these. Put them straight up. And do another four. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get these guys welded up. Awesome. Okay, so we got our side to side. We got our up and down. Uh, we're going to need front and back, but i probably going to not hold off on that at the moment. But it's not really needed at this exact moment. So I got a lot of other stuff that I can put on here. And then I'm sure there's something in here I can put, like the antenna. Be nice and protected in here. Uh, I need small steel tubes. Of course I do. Let me see. Damn me, small steel tubes. Uh, there we go. Hey, it's up. Sweet. Then we can block this off with the block. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, now let's see what else. So we, yeah, we still got to focus on the front and back, which is fine. Uh, maybe give it like a dorsal for this. Mm. Maybe not right there. I'll put it on the tail, I think. Yeah, I think I'll be doing it on the tail. So we'll give this a few armor block or a few just light armor blocks for the moment. I'll be putting the heavy armor panels over it. All right, and then let's flush out the side right here. Kind of making it kind of sleek looking, you know? There we go. Okay. I'm liking it. Oh. Yeah. Alright, alright. Sweet! Okay, let's get the bottom. Okay. Da, 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 da. And we'll get these in here as well. Okay. And then I can just do another one on top of that. Like this. And that will cover up the ore detector. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together, right? All right. I think I'm going to make this episode a little bit of a longer one. So I don't have to really split it up. Okay, and we'll keep going this way. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, it's a cool, uh, it's almost like a little cockpit canopy kind of thing going on there. All right, get this all welded up. Okay.
cool. There we go. Nice. Oh, we still need a battery. Ah, and the whole power. Okay. So, I'm thinking maybe for the battery, we can do these ones. We can do... Let's do the Warfare battery. Whoa, how big was that? Uh, that's a little... That, uh, yeah, that's, that's a little big. That's a little big. I mean, I could put it underneath. Uh, I, could, I mean, I could put it right there, but that's going to make it look ugly. I don't want this thing to be ugly. Uh, so let's see what other kind of batteries we got. We got the small batteries, which I can do. Uh, I got the azimuth battery, which that's a 3x3, three three, I believe. We got a small battery here. Okay. So yeah, let's go with let's go with the small battery. We'll do that. And we can line this up like this. We can actually do quite a few of them just to give us enough. There we go. That should be enough. So let's go and yeah, drop all these off and bring these in. Very nice. Cool. So we got power. And it's charging off of the building stand. So we're good there. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright. And I think I'm going to build the mining arm kind of like attached coming off of this, going into the bottom here. So it may be a, I'm thinking of doing the converter from the large to the small, uh, and then branching them out or, oh, I'll figure that out. Either way I can, I can, I can build off of this and I won't be impeded. So. The rest of the stuff will be going back here and will be just fine. You know, hunky dory, all that good stuff. So let's look, what else do we need? Uh, we got the thrusters, we got up, down. We still need the forward and back. So let's also focus on, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, we did want the turret too. So Gatling. So let's do Just for defense purposes, we will keep this up on top. Let me make sure it's centered. All right. Uh, I mean, it's gonna kind of suck because it's like overhanging. I don't really, you know, I'm not gonna put it there. I'm gonna actually make it over here and it's going to be wider so let's do kind of like what we did with the beast type thing so i'm going to bring this in like that and we're also going to For the moment, I mean, I'm going to take these apart, I think, but I wanted to be able to do this. Uh, I mean, um, I wish I could move it up like just one block. Okay, I might need to bring it up actually, or bring up these blocks. just for it to be the right level that I want it to be. Let's try this. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go full tilt to see what we can do. 
There we go. That's that's the level. That's where I want it, right there. Perfect. Nice. All right. And on top of that, um, yeah. Okay. So let's get this build to the build planner. Crap. Very cool. And now storage wise. Let's let's look at storage. Cargo. All right, I don't think we can do large cargo container, correct? Oh, oh, we can. Okay. So if we do something like this, hmm. All right, let me, let me think about that real quick while I get charged. Okay, so if we maybe take these off here and we'll take that one off there, that I can put this, oh, I think I'm gonna need interior plates, of course, yep. In the interior plates. Ah, we got the interior plates. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll get that cargo container on there. Now let's see where. Let's see how that looks. Maybe I might be able to. Uh, hopefully, there's a space in between. Okay, add to bill planner. Okay. All right. Yep. It looks like I will be able to snake this down. So let's see if I can get rid of that block. Okay. And I just need conveyors. Okay. So where's my small conveyors? There they are. Put one right there. Right there. There. Get a few of these. Nice, nice. All right, and we just need a couple more. There and there, and it should be all connected up. Very cool. Okay, now let's re restructure and re-strengthen this area. All right, let's get some angle blocks going just to kind of keep the same aesthetic. That's a funny word, aesthetic. I like it. Right, and we'll flip this and this. There we go. It's definitely got a, it's got a bit of a pot belly. Or, I mean, it kind of, well, yeah, I totally didn't mean it to look like that, but okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let's go with this one here and we'll do this one there. Boom, boom. Okay, let's go with this and this. God damn it. Now that I now that I see it, I can't unsee it. Okay, so let's let's try making this less obscene. Uh, so let's go ahead and branch out. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, we still need to do the frontwards and back uh, thrusters, right? So let's look at the repulsors. Ooh, what's this one? Repulsor lift large? Ooh, hello. I wonder if I... Yeah, let's... Let's try this. Uh, maybe if I bring it up more. I have an idea. We're gonna get rid of this. And we're going to put... You see, they have the... Yeah, okay, they have the connection points on that, on those. So what if I do... It would be nice to actually have some uh, hydrogen, you know, some oxygen generation going on. So if I put, hmm, I mean, I could put it there. The thing is, oh, 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 hello. Hold on a second. All right. So if I line this up exactly, okay. we go okay and then I can take medium medium cargo containers and I could just hook them straight into this all right get those build components going Nope, nope. There we go. Okay. Yeah, alright. That's looking better. Looking better. Let's get another one going. Construction components, all that good stuff. Let's get the, ooh, let's get some blocks going on here. Let's kind of protect these. Kind of like lock them all in, you know? Okay, uh, let's check this side out as well. be able to put some thrusters so let's check it out oh wrong wrong one let's do let's do these ones actually okay so we can do Two like this, and then we can do another two like that, right? Okay. So we got our backwards 
rust, so to say. Oh, we still need we need steel plates. Okay. Got to get more. Nice, nice. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Ah, I know, I know, okay, fine. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we got our backwards thrust set up. Let's give this some, uh, some spacing. Is there any... There's no junctions on the bottom, except for right here. Okay. I can deal with that. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring these out some more. Like this. Okay, and for the back here, we'll do... Uh, get the components that we need for this. There we go. Nice. Ooh, is that the auto cannon? Oh, that's a <clears throat> beefy looking cannon. All right, we'll get the tempered flare on there. My do I I want it to look nice, but at the same time, it, it's it's a it's a workhorse. You know, it's gonna be. And the other thing too I'm thinking is having it kind of a, a as a slender vehicle, I could be able to get into uh, like mines and things like that. You know, if I'm drilling forward, as long as my profile is essentially kind of hidden behind the cockpit, and except for you know maybe a little bit higher up for the the turret, a shield would be able to like not have any problems going in. Okay, oh, I see some weak spots there. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do we need here? We'll get rid of these, 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 and these, and these, and this. Uh, so wait, we got the hydrogen container, or the hydrogen uh, H2 generator we have. We have that on there. Okay, so let's look at the oxygen tank. We're going to need one of those. And I'm thinking that's kind of the only thing I need on there. Now we got the power. We got, we need a reactor. That's right. Um, let's go with the tiny two point or six point, tiny six point. Wait, oh, the six point as in six points of, of access. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, let's get that to the build planner. Okay, we'll get the all components on. Sweet. Okay, and we need the we'll do the five the oxygen, which is going to be interesting. This thing is pretty big. Was not expecting that. So let's go to the other one. I think this is the smaller version. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's just do like 
three of these. Uh, there we go. And we'll get these protected as well. And then we also need... Oh, the solar panel. That's right. So let's just get a small one. What do we need? Construction component? Of course we do. Wait, there it was, right there. Okay, so if we put this... Just like that. Just on the tail end. There we go. Just enough to keep the power on. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take this down a bit. Alright, let's just see how she, uh, how she maneuvers. Okay, so she definitely needs more power. That's for sure. Put my upside down. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, I uh, I didn't realize, but I kind of built it upside down. But that's okay. It, it actually, it still works. I just need to put the, uh, I need to switch a couple things around. That's, that's fine though. Uh, for instance, this, oh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Conveyor small. Okay, so since this is the top, I need to move this. Make sure there's nothing damaging that. All right, maybe I can just do... Let's do two of them. Why not? Maybe it can just like really slowly passively charge stuff, right? Okay, and then uh, let's look at the other reactors. Um, Small warfare reactor, large reactor, azimuth, um, fusion reactor. I mean, that's a big boy, but we kind of need it though. That's the, that's the problem. So maybe I can put it. I want to keep that. Okay. I have an idea. I'll put it right. I'll put it. Put it like this. No, that's really sticking out too much. Um, wait, is this bottom? No, it doesn't have a connection. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put it right there. Because... Why not? But for the moment, she flies. Somewhat maneuverable. Okay. Might have to put on another. Ooh. Yeah, I might, I'm going to definitely have to put the power supply on and maybe another gyroscope. 
because I can already tell this thing is going to be beastly when it's uh, ready to actually drive. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up hooking this up into here and then making it actually up a higher with maybe another turret up top. So I have a turret on the bottom and one up top and then do a connection port hookup coming off of this. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I can put the connection port right there. So let's grab that real quick. Yeah, okay, let me just check that real quick, make sure it has it on all sides, okay. And I can just, boom, right there. Okay, I just need some small steel tubes real quick. I mean, it's gonna be kind of a, kind of a bitch to fill up. I mean, I added second there we go there we go okay so it is acceptable there um, and then yeah it's gonna get bulked out I think a little bit more and then I'm gonna oh I still need to add on these um, efficiency upgrades which I may do that off camera I'm not sure Let's get some more components going real quick. Hey, all components. Nice. All right, let's see how it rolls. Let's see how it goes. Wait, I think I need some uranium in there though. Uh, do I have uranium? I think I do. I mean, I, I, I'm sitting on top of a bunch of uranium on this base. So uranium isn't gonna be too much of an issue for me okay battery is on battery is going let's get in oh oh that's so much better okay ship fuel is low which means we only have like 10 minutes but again that was like 0.3 or something like that so okay but at least that's working Very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to call it here. It's been a long episode, uh, but I'm going to continue uh, this. And uh, yeah, I want you guys to uh, help me out and come up with a name for this bad boy. So yeah, I'll check you guys on the flip side.